welcome to the course on chemical engineering mechanics myself neeti mehta assistant professor at chemical engineering department lj institute of engineering and technology so i am going to take this particular subject which is chemical engineering mechanics what is the importance of this particular subject so the subject is basically a combination of various topics from different subjects such as physics engineering mechanics and material science so after completing this particular subject you will be able to gain knowledge which will be helpful for your upcoming subject so basically this particular subject will form a concrete base for your all upcoming subjects so let's just start this particular subject with chapter number 1 which is introduction to physics before starting the core topics we first let us consider few definitions or few terminologies which will be very much important throughout our subject and which is very much important to understand the introduction to physics so the first terminology which comes is space so what do we understand by the word space space itself have various definitions if you will see there are n number of definitions available for the terminology space and as and when it is used it will change its definition so basically a space is a boundless three dimension extent in which object and event have their relative position and directions right so what is a space space is basically a three dimension extent or space is a three dimensional extent in which our object or whatever event is taking place will have their position and direction right in terms of classical physics physical space is often conceived in three linear dimension although in terms of modern physics it is defined as a part of boundless four dimensional continuum in which it is known as space time right so there is a difference between what is space and what is space time so if you will see this picture here two persons are standing at some particular distance and that distance is known as space between them right now let us see one more definition of space so space is one of the most fundamental quantities in physics when we say it is a fundamental quantity what does it mean it means that it cannot be defined via any other quantities before because nothing more fundamental is available with us other than this right whenever we cannot define something with some uh, with the help of some other quantities it becomes a fundamental so space is one of the most fundamental quantities in physics on other hand it can be related to some fundamental quantities and thus similar to other fundamental quantities like time and mass space can be explored via measurement and via experiment we can define space via either measurement or either experiment you can see here the picture of one square triangle and circle they are placed at some distance from each other and this particular distance or empty space is our space this particular distance is termed as space between them 
this is a space between this square and triangle and this is space between this triangle and a circle so what is space space is a fundamental quantity in physics which cannot be defined using any other quantity and space is a three dimensional extent in which any object or event will have their position and direction right i hope this particular definition is now clear to you so let's move to another terminology which is time we all know importance of time we all know definition of time but when we talk about physics let us consider and let us see what do we understand by the term time is continued sequence of existence and events that occurs in an apparently irreversible succession from the past through the present and into the future so what is time time is basically a continuous sequence of some existence of events something is happening continuously from past it is happening right now and it
so this is it for today's video lecture and i just hope that the motive behind learning this particular subject of chemical engineering mechanics is now clear to everyone and the topics which we have started or the terminologies such as space time and particle is clear right so this will be very much helpful for us while we will be going to our upcoming topics and upcoming chapters so let's just stop here for today see you with another video thank you